Our third topic under annuity is all about determining the interest rates of an ordinary annuity. The formula, if P is given, we are going to use this formula or this equation, the quantity of n squared minus 1 times i squared, and our i is unknown. Therefore, we have no value for this, and later on we are going to use the quadratic formula in solving for i, plus 6 times the quantity of n plus 1 times i, plus 12 times the quantity of 1 minus a n over p is equal to 0. Or, if f is given, we are going to use this one, almost alike with, almost alike with the previous formula, but our second operation is minus, and our denominator here is f. And so, after solving for this equation, we are going to compute for i using the quadratic formula, which is i is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. For example, a loan of 1,500,000 is to be discharged by making 48 monthly payments at 35 pesos each. At what rate compounded monthly is the interest charge on the loan? Given, our P is 1.5 million, A is 35,000, M is 12, and N is 48. We are not given here by T, which is in years. The N is already given, which is 48 monthly payments. And we are going to solve for I. Using the first equation, if P is given... And then substituting for the values of n and a and of course p. n is 48, a is 35,000, and p is 1.5 million here in the denominator. And so simplifying, 48 squared is 2,304 minus 1i squared plus 6 times 48 plus 1 which is 49 times i plus 12 times the quantity of 1 minus 1.12 is equal to 0. Simplifying further, 2,304 2, minus 1 is 2,303 i squared plus 6 times 49 is 294 i plus 12 times the quantity of negative 0.12 is equal to 0. And then multiplying 12 by negative 0.12, that will be equal to negative 1.44. So from this equation, we are going to find for the a, b, and c, which we are going to substitute for the quadratic formula in finding for i. So our a is the first term, which is the numerical value of i squared. Our b is 294, the numerical value of i. And then our c is our constant, negative 1.44. And so we are going to solve for i using the quadratic formula, substituting for a, b, and c. So b is 294, a is 2303, c is negative 1.44. And 294 squared is equal to 86,436 plus these three numbers will be multiplied all together. And the result will be 13,265 and 28 all over 4,606. So 2 times 2,303 is 4,606. So the resulting value under our square root sign is 99,701.28. Square root of that will be 315.76. And then we are going to solve for i1 using the plus sign. So that is negative 294 plus 315.76 all over 4,606. And the result will be 0 0.004724. And for i2, we are going to use the minus sign. So negative 294 minus 315.76. That will be equal to negative... 0.13238 which is considered invalid because it has a negative sign. 
So we are going to take i1 as our i. And so we are going, we are ready now to solve for the nominal rate j. j is i times m. So 0 0.004724 times 12 is equal to 0 0.0567. Or in percentage form, that is 5.67%. The second example, Arlene desires to have 1 million pesos in her savings at the end of 10 years. She intends to make quarterly payments of 20,000 pesos. What will be the interest rate if it is converted quarterly? So given F is 1 million, A is 20,000, M is 4, T is 10, and so N is 40 because 10 times 4 is 40. And so since F is given, we are going to use the second equation. And so we are going to substitute for the values of n, the values of a, and then our f in the denominator here. So 40 squared is equal to 1,600. 40 plus 1 is 41. And this quantity will be equal to 0.8. 1,600 minus 1 is 1,599. Minus 6 times 41 is 246 plus 12 times 0 0.2 because 1 minus 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.2 and then 12 times 0 0.2 is equal to 2.4 and from here we are ready to determine the values of ABC for our quadratic formula A is 1599 B is negative 246 C is 2.4 using the quadratic formula B is 246 since b is negative, negative times negative is equal to positive. So our first number here is positive 246. Under our square root sign, negative 246 squared minus 4 times 1599 times 2.4 all over 2 times 1599. Negative 246 squared is equal to 60,516. And then 4 times 1599 times 2.4 is equal to 15,350.4. And then 2 times 1599 is equal to 3198. Subtracting these two under our square root sign, that is 45,165.6. And then taking the square root of that number, that will be equal to 212.522. And then for I1, we are going to use the plus. So that is 246 plus 212.522 all over 3198. Or that is equal to 0.143478. For I2, we are going to use the minus sign. So that will be equal to 0 0.01047. And here, since both of them are positive, we are going to take which value is lesser than the other. So, 0 0.01047 will be taken as our i. Solving for j, that is 0 0.01047 times 4, which is equal to 0 0.0419 times 100 in percentage form, that will be equal to 4.19%. So, that is it for our third subtopic under the annuity. For your questions, comment down.